Tunubu no want to know Wahala. Tunubu no want even argue with you at all again. So recently, there was a supplementary budget, two point something trillion naira, that was recently appropriated by the federal government. And in one uh, little budget, the sum of five point something billion naira was meant to pursue a presidential yacht, a luxurious one. For what? Nigerians weren't happy about that particular passage. They are saying, after you bought cars for yourself, for your first lady, you still want to buy a cruiser, a cruiser a boat, a cruiser ship, mini ship, for what? But guess what? Tinubu has listened to Nigeria and they have cancelled that uh, cruiser, that yacht money. They have cancelled it and added it to student loan. Student loan was initially five point something billion uh, naira before, but now they have cancelled that uh, that uh, yacht. They have added the money to the student loan. So student loan are now ten point something billion naira. So how are we going to how are we going to how is student get to this loan? How are they going to assess this loan? Because I see feel that loan is still very, very little. 10 billion naira for student loan for millions of Nigerians. Still very, very little. How did you guys even came about that uh, that figure of 5 billion before? Did, did you just appropriate or maybe you sat down to say, okay, this and that, okay, this and that, this and that. And again, students in Nigeria need to start talking. Have you guys been able to assess any loan before, since when announced? And after this announcement of the student loan, will you guys, if, if anybody is able to assess it, please pass the information. Nigerians do not like passing information to themselves. It's wrong. Do not hide information. Pa pass it out there for other people to use. This is our problem in every community in Nigeria. That is why Nigerians, if they travel abroad, they don't pass information about how staying abroad is and how you can uh, how you can benefit yourself by going abroad or something that can benefit you to come to abroad. They don't. It's only a few persons. And those few persons that are able doing it, we want to collect big money from you. Nigerians do not like to pass information. Please, as a student, if you are able to assess loan, do a video educating other students on how to assess the same loan. But they won't do it. Huh? That's just how it is, though. Then uh, let's go over to Ghana. Ghana, Alpha, how you are there now? Oh, my Ghana people. How are you guys doing? So check out this uh, former Ghanaian footballer, Asamo Yang. Asamo Yang was uh, recently, you know, for the past few years, or had issues with uh, his wife, his then wife. And because of the issues and everything, he was doubting the paternity of his children with the woman. <laughs> so they went to court for divorce, and he said, DNA test must be done to ascertain if he is truly the father of these three kids. Well, thank God DNA test was carried out and he did discover that he was the father. But this is now the whole issue now. The court granted his wife two houses from the mass property. No, from their property, from their former property. A petrol station and two cars in compensation two cars for the way two cars and not just only that twenty five thousand cities monthly for children's support and this doesn't include medical bills transportation flight uh, money or any gift holidays so it doesn't include it all this guy was meant to give out two houses, one in Ghana and one in London. Two houses 
a petrol station. Two cars as compensation as a compensation. Twenty-five thousand cities every month. Month that is a one point something, one point six million naira every month. That doesn't include school fees. That doesn't include flight money in case you want to go on holiday. That doesn't include holiday money. Hey, <laughs> this guy is in trouble. I hope he has a lot of money though to to foot all those things. You know, you are not a active player now. You are a legend. You are retired. But you still have other businesses. Well, I hope you can be able to foot all those bills because <laughs> all those things don't be smart, you know. Mm, no, you are not Ronaldo. But I think he's kind, he can since he has a lot of investment. He has a lot of investment. You know, those women, eh, you know, once you get picking so. Well, make it food the bid now. Why was he doubting the maternity? Maybe he caught his wife cheating, or maybe he's, he's, uh, he's uh, kind of like thinking some foul play from his wife. And since he's, he's thinking some foul play, he has every right to check so that he won't be doubting if they are his children. Now he can fully say, Yes, I can fully take care of my children. Beat his chest and say, Yes, I'm paying bills for my children, not another man's child. Well, you should pay now twenty five thousand cities. It's not uh, it's not small thing you know, every month, and they're giving out to a petrol station. Ah, two houses, two cars, and also other things. That is big money. You know. That is really really big money. So now let's go down back to Border Boy. Border Boy is certainly someone who has money. You know, turning down five million dollars, five million dollars because. Dubai know they are lying, bro. He say no they go where he know. He say no they go where they know they let her smoke it, bro. According to him. I know they go and they let smoke it, bro. In fact, I think let's all still listen to the music again because there are some few stuff I need to bring out from that discussion. <laughs> Last night, small ticket. Cost me another like to the go. We had them no go green, me smoky go. Shouldn't I didn't tell you? Eh? you I know they like where I should be. They know they let me smoke it, boo. Because of it, boo, people turn that five billion US dollars. There are people, it's, it, it shows our normal life. There are people who, who, we, who we turn down a job because of it, boo. There are people who ruin their life because of Ibu. Yes. So what now that has that has nothing to his name using his last 50 naira to buy Ibu without even eating? We back himself up. I beg you. This life don't mean anything. Ibu now boy fit on that 5 million US dollar for Ibu. Wait me. I beg me. I smoke Ibu. You know, it will be like a motivational force for that person to go on and use his last money to buy Ibu. To go on and borrow money to even buy Ibu. To go on and steal money to buy a book, this will be a motivational force for him, <laughs> for that kind of person. <laughs> Since Bola Boy don't spend the uh, five million, uh, uh, let go of five million US dollars. But apparently, that was a lie, though. That was a lie. I don't believe it. Even his mother manager will not allow Bola Boy to leave five billion US dollars. Bola Boy will try him. But apparently, Bona Boy was, was contacted to perform as Francis Ugano versus Fury Fight in UAE. Yes, he was, he was called to perform there for the sum of one million US dollars. So something, something happened. David, though, uh, Bona Boy wasn't able to join the performance because Lil Baby performed there as well. So Bona Boy wasn't able to join the performance. So we do not know. If that is what Bonner Boy is talking about, we do not know if that is what Bonner Boy is talking about, about that particular incident. But if it was that particular incident, that incident was actually for 1 million US dollars, not 5 million US dollars. Why would I want to turn down the sum of 5 million US dollars because of Ibo? 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 Huh? Oh boy, you lie, Sha. You lie oh, for that package. You lie for that package. Well, this is what he wrote recently. He said, 
a big bone to a little dog is a little bone to a big dog between i see your fully understand the accent language is by music now now true sha you're just saying that something may be big for you for your eye eh that thing no big for another person eye something may be big for your eye they little for another person eye well that's why i said the prayer before let God alleviate us to the point that we will not see some money as anything. God has already alleviated us. Elevated me. Me, I don't go see 1,000 naira as anything. I go easily dash out 1,000 naira. By a special grace of God. Thank God. 1,000 naira can easily dash it out without feeling anything. So how much can you dash out without feeling anything? 